Alright, you good. <laughs> yeah, dude. That was a good one. <laughs> See you, bro. Good riding. It is late November, and it is 60 degrees out. Can you believe that? I got up a little early this morning, headed down to Franklin, and met up with my buddy Dylan on his new 390. <laughs> We're going to get a little bit more film on it today. He's got some new parts on it. He geared it down. New chain and sprocket set up. He uh, added a decat system, so it's got some, some thump to it now. All right, let's do it. He's also got some new levers uh, that fold up. Just some simple aesthetic stuff, mirrors. He's actually behind me right now. I don't know if you can see him. Just having a good old chill morning out in the twisties, man. It's one of those days that you just gotta take advantage of the weather. Nothing that compares. Can't find anything that comes close to the feeling that I get when I'm riding. There's nothing. It's incredible. Need a warm up? Huh? You need a warm up? You good? Huh? I'll let you rip this if you want to on the next road. I just gotta do one more wheelie before I hand it over. Huh? Do you want to swap? Huh? All right, let's do it. We're back on the. KTM Duke 390. All right, so in the last video, we talked a little bit about the bike, how it feels compared to the 690. This time we're actually out in some good corners so we could give it a little bit more test. And so far, it feels a whole lot better with this gearing setup. Brakes are fully broken in now. They feel better. It feels absolutely incredible. back and forth like it's nothing. Brakes on a dime. Shifts on a dime. Gets out of the corners on a dime. Oh yeah, that felt great. The bar angle on this bike is a lot more confidence inspiring in the corners than mine, which I honestly did not think was going to be the case. But the way these are angled allows you to lean into the corner a little bit more naturally than mine and have a little bit more throttle control, especially in your left-handers. 
when your throttle's a little bit further away from you. The suspension, it doesn't feel as stiff as it did before. I don't know if he adjusted it or not. And now that the uh, now that the bike is fully broken in, we can do a little drag race on this bike versus my bike. bikes were like neck and neck and they're both geared down and they're both single cylinders have you been down that road before a long time ago with cody and his d30 well how's that compared to this one i'm not as comfortable the obviously the tires dude they just roll you just yeah do you think it has to do with the bars at all maybe i know the bars are completely different yeah um, these are a lot straighter those are mm -hmm. when you kept saying that this is smoother i was like it doesn't feel very smooth and then i got on this and it's like shaking me to death yeah but it's fine and like the throttle on this one is so much nicer yeah this is sensitive though yeah i, li I mean i like it the power is just says just power always doesn't matter where you are yeah this one winds out i mean you can rev it to eleven thousand, but it's uh which is different this is like shit i gotta shift yeah it did pretty good though it stayed up it stayed up with that one to like 60. yeah we should do it again this me on mine yeah all right no one to start <laughs> all right hello funny games it's time to ditch the 390 on my favorite road bad he kept up with me I thought I was gonna ditch him I told you guys I told you 390 is not a slow bike where should we go now yeah. well that was a fun day if you guys got this far in the video I just want to thank you guys my view duration is that like two and a half or three minutes which is kind of weird to me but like 40% of you guys are only making it to the three minute mark in my videos so if you made it this far uh, I definitely appreciate it. If you like the video, throw down a like. It definitely helps out more than you think. Share it with your homies. Great Laker, out.